is going on guys welcome back to another video my name is Ron and this is MotorTube I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today we have the 2020 Ram 1500 limited so if you were looking for a truck under a hundred thousand dollars I know that's a lot but I'm saying for those who want to go out there and get the best of the best and I'm trying to think of all the options now there's a Raptor you know there's a bunch of Chevy trucks there's the Ram and I'm thinking what could you get for like a daily driver something really really nice something upscale and not necessarily off-roading or anything like that just something nice that can pull some weight and you'll look very good in and I'm thinking okay there's only one brand that I know that makes something like that and that is Ram. So today I'm going to walk you guys through this $72,000 truck and I'm going to show you guys how badass this thing is because it has so many cool options and you guys are going to probably never want to go buy another truck that isn't a Ram. So here it is guys. Um, it's in black and I'm going to run you guys a few options that you guys might like. So it has a 33 gallon fuel tank which is a $445 option, a 3.92 rear axle ratio, trailer brake controls, and tons of more options that I will show you guys in just a little bit. But let's begin with these wheels. Just check out how beautiful these wheels are. Look at them. 22 inch wheels with the Eagle Touring tires on there. You got 285s all around. Let me show you guys the front of it. I mean, just look how classy this thing is. It's not too much, but it's not plain and regular. So the front end of this Ram is totally different from any other Ram. I mean, even down to the headlights, look at that. Everything is different with the Limited. They definitely changed it up so you don't just look like another Ram out there. A cool option that this thing has is the Bed Utility Group, which is $445. So it has the pickup box and all the other cool stuff. Let me show you guys oh, right there. So you could put your tools in here, whatever you want, really. Look at that. You got a little plug right there. So you got that right here and on the other side. They're called the ramp boxes right here. So you only have plug on one side. So as we step to the back, they added a cool option for the 2020 trucks. And it's the tailgate. Do you see how it's split right there? So if you press this, just this right here, it opens the entire tailgate normal. Now let's close it. And if we just press this, you see this right here? Bam. Opens like a door. So that's a cool option. Now I don't know if you could open this as well. Yeah, you can. So just like that. Now you have them opened this way. Not sure why they did that but they did it and i know there's other truck companies that have done this so ram decided to you know try to do it as well so now here's a problem with getting the ram boxes as you can see one right here and one right here your bed is a lot smaller you also have these dividers i don't know what you do to them probably separate things or lock things in place but your bed gets a lot smaller when you add the little storage cabinets or whatever you want to call them you have the tunnel cover right here leather beautiful so let's close this thing up i thought i'd show you guys that it's a pretty cool option i want to do it one more time it's kind of cool i've never opened a tailgate like that so here it is and you know it tells you what you do and what you don't do so now let's, let's just close it up but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the little split right there? I don't know. It looks a little stupid to me that it's cut in half. But, I mean, if it, you know, if you guys like the tailgates like that, I mean, I don't know if all of them come like that. But I know this one definitely comes like that. So now we're going to hop inside the truck. My favorite part about this truck is the interior. So let's go in there and check it out. Bam. Look at that. I know the sun's hitting it a little bit, but it's blue right here with beige or white and then you got the little woodwork here with white stitching i mean look at that just look at the quality here you got the harman kardon speakers and then more of the white and blue that it's like a darker blue looks beautiful like a navy blue it, it, the combination works i hate white interiors but it works and it looks good in this color combo so just look at that and i'll just show you guys all the woodwork they even putting in here look at that look at the quality here it says limited you got the stitching right here you got the big screen i'm going to walk you guys through that in just a second more of the wood right here 
or I don't even know if it's real wood, but we're gonna pretend to. You got it right here, you got the leather dash. Just everything about it screams out quality. You got the mats right here, it's so limited right there. Let's hop in here. I gotta show you guys the screen real quick. So we're just gonna go this, that, and then it says limited as soon as you turn it on. Let me walk you guys through the screen. I have the same screen in my truck. This is, I think, like a 14 inch or 12 inch screen. I'm not sure, I haven't measured it. All right, so here is the GPS. So just look how huge it is. Here's why I love this. So when I'm going on road trips or if I'm on the highway, this thing can see so far. Like you got the whole map. It literally sees like four, five miles at a time without you having to zoom out that much. So that's that. Let's go to the media. So you have your AM, FM, and then you have your Bluetooth. Let's go to your controls. You have heated seats, vented seats, heated wheel. You have your mirror dimmer. You have your, your delay of steps. Bam. Yep. You don't just walk in here. They come down and you hop on there and step in this truck. You got your backup cameras. Look at all the different backup cameras you have. Actually, where are they? Oh, that's not the right option right here. Bam. The surrounding cameras gives you all the backup cameras. So you have the top view. You have, this is the, the rear. A different rear view. You have the front. The front. And then you have the little, uh, the, the tailgate camera. You can zoom in. This line is for your tow hook. Let's see what else we got here. So let's jump into the apps right here. You got the travel link. You got your sports. You got the info on that. The weather. You got the fuel pricing. I mean, all this stuff. It's so cool. That they have even movie listings. So if you want to go watch a movie with your girl, you can just look up the movie right here. And you can also call whoever you want on there. So let's say you want to call this gas station. You click on that and it'll call it. Right now the car is off and there's no phone plugged in. So that's why you can't. But let's exit out of all this. Uh, you got your phone and all that good stuff here. So that's pretty much that. Another cool thing is right here. Uh, uh, right there. So you got blind spots, lane assist. Here it parks the car for you by the way. Here you got the four wheel uh, drive auto, two wheel drive, high, low. And then here's the... The auto starter, which means if you're in traffic and you go to stop, it'll turn it off to save gas and then it'll turn back on once you, you know, get your foot off the brake. So that's a cool option as well. And then here, you got your wireless charger, all the USB ports. I'm not sure what you'd put here, but let me get my camera out the way. Here, you got a little plug. Let's go here. Open this up. We got a little storage area. Okay, what's wrong with this? All right, come on. So here you got a few measurements if you, you know, you're a handyman or you work in construction. Cool part about this is you can put your change right here, your cup holders, you can close them. Look how classy this looks. And then you come here, you got limited, it's in wood. You open this up, you got a little storage area. More of that blue leather you see with white stitching and also i want to show you guys this key look how beautiful this key is it says ram limited most other ones just say ram this says ram limited and it's like a different color right here pretty cool but now let me show you guys the back this is my favorite part about these rams the back is huge let's get in there more of that beautiful beautiful navy blue and white or beige and then you got the wood the white stitching ram logo right here these very durable mats if you go down here here's your little coolers look at this you even got stitching right here so let me hey, let's jump in here look at that look how much stuff you have right here you have heated and cooled seats back here usbs you got the plug you got cup holders more cup holders some in here as well cup holders here little storage area here and the speakers are right there right by your ear so you can listen to some good music but oh we forgot one thing you got the panel roof let's open that up actually bam i think it's gonna stop right here yep hold up let's close this up 
Bam! Look at that. So you got the panel roof in here, and here's your view when you're sitting back here. Look how beautiful this view is. And just check out how much leg room I have. Look at that. Do you guys see how much leg room I have? Look at that. I'm sitting so comfortable right now, and this driver looks like someone who's like 6'3", so he has tons of room, and I'm literally sitting here with my legs all the way extended, and look how much room I have. I'm sitting so comfortable back here. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. I'm telling you guys. And just check out to the little, you know, details of quality that they have added. Look at that. They made this leather with the stitching right here. I, I love it. And then look at the Harman Kardon speakers they put in here. It looks like a Mercedes. I mean, just look at it. The leather right here. You leave that to flex on your passengers. You tell them it's genuine leather. And let's close this thing up. I mean, one more time. I just got to show you guys this. Look at that. The quality that they've put in this truck is amazing. I mean, look at it. Here it is, and then also the dash, it's like blue and silver, so a little modern. And you have, obviously, a sunroof, because this opens up. But yeah, you could sit here with your girl and check the stars out. One last look at this truck, guys. By the way, did I forget to say that it was a V8? Look at that, you got the LED lights right there. Look how beautiful they look. Just look how mean this truck is, man. It's it's beautiful. So what I want to do now is I want to go through all the options and how much those options cost. I want to break them down to you guys so you guys know exactly what you're getting and how much it will cost you. So here's the breakdown. You got the Longhorn Level 1 Equipment Group that comes with the Harman Kardon's 19 speakers. It's a premium sound, blind spots, and cross path detection. Oh, that's a fail. And you got the foam bottle insert. And here's, I don't want to go through everything. And then you got the 22s for 2000. Oh, by the way, that package was about four grand. And then you got the V8 for 1800. You got the advanced safety group, which is about 1700, which has the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. You got the panoramic sunroof, which is a 1500. You got the bed utility group, which is about, you know, 450. You got the body color bumpers, which basically they're not chrome, they're black. And then here's all the other options. Literally, the, the air ride suspension is 1800. You got the tunnel cover is 550. You got the tail, the new tailgate right there for a thousand right off the first one. You got the 33 gallon fuel tank, which is you know not standard. It's about 445. So here's all it is. And then uh, MSRP 72,000. But if you come to Parkway, you'll get it for 63, which is not bad at all. Here's all the payments or whatever. If you want to lease it, I don't know how much it'd be. A thousand a month. Oof, that's crazy. So now what we're going to do is take it out on a drive and see how this thing handles, how it rides. I'm sure the air ride suspension makes this thing ride smooth as hell. So we're going to go out there and test it out and see how it actually rides. So one last thing before we leave right now, it's at its highest point, the air ride suspension. So what we're going to do is we're going to click twice it's gonna get lowered a little bit you see that you guys see that you guys see that um, so it did the front now it's doing the back pay attention pay attention all right let's do it again or it still it keeps going you hear that let's try it again let's see how low it can actually get you guys see that you guys see that all right let's go a little lower Oh, it went up now. That's weird. I think it leveled out, but let's do it again. So you click it twice here. It went even lower. You guys see that? Look how low it is over here. Now it's it's adjusting and it's leveling. All right. And uh, uh, it went lower here. You guys see that? All right. Let's see if it'll go even lower. Oh. Oh, that might be it. I don't know. Look how low it got though. It looks amazing right now. The way it's sitting, it's pretty cool. Let's actually go from inside to check if it's sat at its lowest. Yes, right there. So you can also control it right here. So up, down, and it's at its lowest right now. So 
I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like one last time. Look at the difference. It definitely came all the way down and I was just doing it from the key right here. So that's pretty cool. So now let's go in there for a drive. So now let's take it out for a drive, but let's actually close this thing because I know the sun's smacking you guys in the face. All right, I think we might be good now. Let me check how the camera looks. Camera looks a lot better now. So if we just put it in drive. Um, I put it on the second of the air ride suspension. I think there's like five levels. I put it on the second lowest. So we're going to just see how it drives. It's an all wheel drive now. So we're going to take it out on the road and then we'll be able to see how it actually feels right now. It's, it's, it's riding so smooth. So I'm guessing the fifth one, well, I'm not guessing it's what it says. It's the off-road, so it has the off-road one, off-road two. I, I wouldn't really take this truck off-roading. It's such a nice, expensive truck. You don't want to take it off-roading. It's, yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, this is a $70,000 truck on 22s. So, and then you see how low profile the tires are. I wouldn't, but if you want to and you, you want to break some stuff, by all means, take it. All right, let's hit the road. Got that V8. Man, you definitely need a V8 in here, okay? You don't you don't want to get a V6. So now I'm on the road and it drives flawless, guys. Flawless. You don't feel any of the bumps. It's just rides so smooth. Pretty similar to my truck. I can't really see a difference. Maybe I'd have to drive this thing for days or weeks or months for me to you know spot a difference. But this does have the air ride suspension, so it's supposed to make it ride better. Let's talk about a few of the competitors, okay? You got the Raptor. That's the most expensive thing, uh, you know, Ford makes. The Raptor is right around the same price range. I think this is a little cheaper, actually, because the dealer marked it down. So, you know, with the discount, it's a lot cheaper. So you're getting this for 63. You're probably getting the Raptor for about 70 plus, okay? The Raptor, the cool thing about them is they look aggressive and you want to take it off-roading you could take it off-roading and it's 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 made for that but this thing is classy it looks expensive and just just look at the inside okay there's not a single not a single truck out there that has a better interior than this i guarantee you the big screen the leather seats the panel roof, everything like just you guys can see the quality in this truck. No other truck out there has it. And I'll put my money on that. Promise you guys, just the screen alone sets this truck apart from every other truck. Just the screen alone. The bad screen, it parks itself, has all these cool options. It literally has lane assist for your trailer. And my truck has it as well. Basically, it measures how long your trailer is. So whatever, 20 footer. It'll make sure you have room for your truck and the trailer to switch lanes. Otherwise, it'll detect that you won't make it. So just options like that, you're not gonna find that in other trucks. At the end of the day, when it comes down to interior, and that's what sets this truck far apart from any other truck. So now the next competitor is like, you got the GMC, you got the Chevy trucks, and those things are ugly. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, they're ugly. They're not as nice as this. They're not as classy as this. Their interior literally looks nothing like the Ram. And you can also get a truck like this in a diesel. If you guys want something like that, you could definitely get the 2500. You could go all out with a truck like this, but I'm just giving you guys a truck that you could tow with it. You could drive it to dinner. You're comfortable. You could take it on. This is the truck to take on road trips, especially if you have a family with you. Like I've taken my truck on many road trips. As you guys can see, I, I drove it from here to Cali. Most comfortable truck. And that is with towing. I was towing my Hellcat too. So like this thing is the perfect truck in my opinion. And I absolutely love this truck. I know a lot of people out there want to spend the extra dollar and get what they actually want. This is the truck guys doesn't get any better than this i promise you guys it does not get any better than this so that's pretty much all i got i'm done up talking this truck coming into this review i didn't think i'd love this truck this much considering i have a laramie but the quality is there with this i mean they went the extra mile and that's what you got to appreciate and that's why you're paying the extra dollar because they went the extra mile so shout out to ram they made a bad 
Ass Truck. If you guys want to sponsor me and throw me one of these, you know, I would appreciate that. But that's all I got for you guys. So if you guys like today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed for more. Got tons of more cool videos coming your way. That's all I got for you guys. I'm done talking. I'm going to shut my mouth and I'll let you guys go. Go out there. Have a beautiful day. Stay positive. Don't let no outside shit affect your life. Don't worry what the internet got to say about you. Don't worry what other people got to say about you. Go out there. Live your dreams and be happy. Peace out and have an awesome day. Woo!